A dress boat? And a kid want a lollipop thermometer. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is mind blow. The E Theremin is a fork musical instrument. It's made up of a speaker, an audio board, and a microcontroller, and it plays various sounds as the user eats food. The sounds change depending on the resistance values of foods attached to the fork. To sing a song with your hands, just use these musical gloves. Hand gestures replicate the movements of real vocal cords, and apparently it takes a hundred hours to learn to play. The right hand has motion sensors, an open hand produces vowels, and closing produces consonants. The K-Glove is a robotic glove for humans that was developed by NASA and GM as a way to reduce repetitive stress injuries. It can reduce 15 to 20 pound grip labor to 5 to 10 pounds, which would see significant benefit in assembly line workers and astronauts. Building Barfing Books Dubbed the Spark Suit, this full suit of chainmail allows Steve to do this. He's sitting next to a large Tesla coil, wearing the chainmail and rubber boots and claims it doesn't hurt but sometimes feels a little bit of sensation in parts of the suit. Popular Science took an ultra slow motion phantom camera, a sledgehammer, and a TV, and did this. The Survival Split Board is a functioning snowboard with the ability to save the rider in case of a disaster. Along with the shovel, it has a saw, compass, thermometer, and flint to aid in building a fire. To dig shelters in the Arctic, a team of graduate students in London are proposing burrowing architecture facilitated by robots. They were inspired by the network of dens polar bears dig and hope that this type of architecture could aid in future Arctic exploration. Wave gliders are designed to harness up and down wave motion to create forward thrust. It's an unmanned maritime vehicle that has an attached solar panel float with sensors that retrieve data and return to port without ever needing to be refueled. Finally, here's a mechanical engineer from the Netherlands and his human bird wings. I'm gonna leave you with real Hobbit playhouses. And as always, thanks for watching.